Breaking news just into our newsroom within the past hour. We're learning that the Charlotte FBI field office has officially opened an investigation into the death of a woman on vacation in Cabo, Mexico, back in October. Now, Queen City News first brought you the story about uh, Shanquella Robinson's mysterious death last week. As anchor Morgan Francis reports, police investigating the case are sharing what they've discovered so far. Thursday, Mexican authorities told Queen City News Shinquella Robinson's friends lied to them about what happened to her prior to her untimely death on October 29th. An officer investigating the case says they interviewed two friends at the villa in Cabo who said Shinquella Robinson had alcohol poisoning. The same story her family says they told them. They say she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a puff. It wasn't until her autopsy came back that Mexican police discovered she had a severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, which is instability in the uppermost vertebrae. They also didn't see this video showing Robinson get violently assaulted until Wednesday. For that reason, their investigation is still open and they're looking into her death. There's a huge financial incentive to keep Cabo open and to keep people feeling safe. So to the extent they can find, prosecute, incarcerate the people that did this, uh, in my opinion, they're going to try to do it. Kurt Kearns is an international attorney with experience litigating international crimes and investigations. Some of what he has to say might not be the most promising news. It's a sovereign state. So that's the first misunderstanding a lot of people have is that, hey, man, if I'm an American and I'm in trouble somewhere, boy, they'll come to my rescue. And the reality is not unless... There's a really big interest internationally in coming to your rescue because they will not upset international relations with a sovereign nation just to help out. The police officer investigating the case tells Queen City News if they find evidence that leads to an arrest, they have authority to bring the group back to Mexico and, quote, they will have to answer to Mexican law. While the FBI and U.S. State Department say it's not their jurisdiction, it doesn't mean they can't investigate either. Upon invitation, FBI can come in and assist upon, you know, invitation. The State Department can get more and more involved, but it's only upon inv invitation, i.e., do they want us there? That was Morgan Francis reporting. Police, again, are urging anyone with information to contact the local FBI office, and they will relay that information on to Mexican authorities.